Welcome to another exciting episode of Memorizing Scriptures with Mel, where memorizing scriptures can be fun. Get them in your head, and then in your heart, and then they can change your life. Okay, today we're going to do Moroni 10, 4 through 5. It goes to a little catchy tune. You might know it, you might not, but here goes. And when ye shall receive these things, I would exhort ye that ye would ask God, the eternal Father, in the name of Christ, if these things are not true. And if ye shall ask with a sincere heart, with real intent, having faith in Christ, he will manifest the truth of it unto you by the power of the Holy Ghost. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, you may know the truth of all things. Repeat. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, you may know the truth of all things. Repeat. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, you may know the truth of all things. Moroni 10, 4 through 5. Moroni's promise. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to memorize it. Here we go. And when ye shall receive these things, I would exhort ye that ye would ask God. And let's do that part again. And when ye shall receive these things, I would exhort ye that ye would ask God. One more time. And when ye shall receive these things, I would exhort ye that ye would ask God. You got that? Well, you better get it because we're moving on. So let's do that and then we'll move on. And when ye shall receive these things, I would exhort ye that ye would ask God. Next part goes. The eternal Father in the name of Christ, if these things are not true. Ready? The eternal Father in the name of Christ, if these things are not true. Again. The eternal Father in the name of Christ, if these things are not true. Okay, why don't we try it from the beginning? Okay, here we go. And when ye shall receive these things, I would exhort ye that ye would ask God. The eternal Father, in the name of Christ, if these things are not true. And if ye shall ask with a sincere heart, with real intent, having faith in Christ. Ready? And if ye shall ask with a sincere heart, with real intent, having faith in Christ. Again. And if ye shall ask with a sincere heart, with real intent, having faith in Christ. Let's go from the beginning. And when ye shall receive these things, I would exhort ye that ye would ask God. Wait a minute. I got an idea. Hold on. Hold on. Let's do a little jingle bells with that, okay? When ye shall receive these things, I would exhort ye that ye would ask God. The eternal Father, in the name of Christ, if these things are not true. And if ye shall ask with a sincere heart, with real intent, having faith in Christ. Next part's kind of tricky. goes real fast, but you got to do it. So, so get ready to speak real fast. He will manifest the truth of it unto you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Ready? He will manifest the truth of it unto you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Again. He will manifest the truth of it unto you by the power of the Holy Ghost. That's the first verse. Let's try the first verse. Here we go. And when ye shall receive these things, I would exhort ye that ye would ask God the eternal Father, in the name of Christ, if these things are not true. And if ye shall ask with a sincere heart, with real intent, having faith in Christ, he will manifest the truth of it unto you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Okay, the next part is real easy because you just repeat it a lot. By the power of the Holy Ghost. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, you may know the truth of all things. Repeat. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, you may know the truth of all things. Repeat. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, you may know the truth of all things. See, wasn't that easy? Let's do that part again. That whole part, we're just repeating three times the same thing, doing it to the music. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, you may know the truth of all things. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, you may know the truth of all things. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, you may know the truth of all things. Now, we're just going to state the verse and the chapter. Moroni 10, 4 through 5, Moroni's promise. Okay, do it again. Moroni 10, 4 through 5, Moroni's promise. One more time. Moroni 10, Four through five, Moroni's promise. Wow, that was a great script.
scripture and that was real easy memorized doing that song so we're gonna do it one more time okay folks I'm checking out the background let's see what do we all want for our background well we don't want that okay we'll just come right down here and put do this part of our Christmas tree okay there we go because it's you know it's December here we go so Moroni 10, 4 through 5, Moroni's promise. Here we go. And when ye shall receive these things, I would exhort ye that ye would ask God, the eternal Father in the name of Christ, if these things are not true. Uh-oh, I forgot this part. If ye shall ask with a sincere heart, with real intent, having faith in Christ, he will manifest the truth of it unto you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Remember this part we got to repeat. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, you may know the truth of all things. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, you may know the truth of all things. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, you may know the truth of all things. Moroni 10, 4 through 5, Moroni's promise. Now, wasn't that fun? It sure was. Now, now if you're wondering what does the word exhort mean, it means to ask, or I would challenge. I would challenge. So exhort means to challenge. So Moroni's challenging us to find out and ask God. Ask God if it's true. That's what he's challenging us to do. You can find out too for yourself. All you have to do is have a sincere heart and ask God. There you go. So I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We'll see you next year on Memorizing Scriptures with Mel.